I'm about to get my life together. All right, y'all, so I am officially home at my house to record. So when I started this trip at my parents' house, I had one flat tire, and now my car has alerted me that I have all flat tires now. All of my tires, well, I won't say flat. We're not gonna claim that they're flat tires, but I started the trip with one low tire and now I have all low tires. I'm not claiming all flat tires, but this is how I'm riding right now. So all of my tires are low and they all need to be inflated. They all need air. I record literally everything here. So I don't really have a space at my parents' house to do that unless I go outside, which on my Instagram account, I think I went outside one day and I just did like several covers. And then our neighbor came out in the backyard. So then I'm like, well, I don't really have any other place to do it. So I ended up having to go to my bedroom and kind of like close the door. But even still, that doesn't really hold the sound. It's not a soundproof room. So this is honestly like the only space that I have that I can actually record the videos for you all. But yeah, so that's the sacrifice that I'm making to get a video done, completed, get some stuff, um, get some covers done, get some covers done for tomorrow and some original material recorded. I have original material typed up my phone, but I just haven't recorded, recorded it yet. So... Anyway, and it's supposed to rain pretty good at tomorrow, I think. We're supposed to get a storm, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get a good bit of rain here. So, depending on when the storm hits, I don't know if it's going to be like early morning or in the afternoon. But I guess maybe I'll work here half day, um, get my stuff recorded, and then I'll probably be heading to my parents' house during lunch. Because that's like one thing I don't want to do. The one thing that I don't want to do hold on no it's not okay but yeah so like the one thing that i don't want to do is to the one thing that i don't want to do is be heading back to their house. I can say with pretty good assurance that I will not feel comfortable driving back to their house with all of my tires being low. It's just not something I'll be comfortable with. Let me turn these lights off right quick. Now, my point is this right here. So, my first car, I got it. One thing that people cannot do in this state not in this city, but in this state. Point blank, period. If it rains, one drop of rain here, and it's accidents everywhere. I can tell you that with complete, absolute confidence. If I'm not confident about anything else, I'm confident about that. We can have one drop of rain here, and it's literally an accident for no reason. It's like, slow down god like like i can tell you right now so it rained some today as a matter of fact we had some rain today and the ground was wet like the ground is saturated out there it's not flooding or anything like that but you know when it rains, the ground, the road, all that stuff is wet. So the ground is currently the street. It's currently wet, but I can tell you like part of my trip here, like I was almost halfway home and I don't know where this person came from. Of course, my tire pressure being low, I can drive pretty much, as long as I'm driving under a few miles per hour, then my tires for the most part, they're good. I shouldn't have that much of a problem. But there was a person like our speed limit was like 40, 45. And so I was doing the speed limit and this person was like riding my bumper for no reason. Like 
for whatever reason, it's like no one obeys the speed limit. It's like the speed limit is how fast can I go to get on this person's bumper and get on their nerves? More or less, that's the speed limit here. And I'm like, the ground's wet, first of all, dummy. <laughs> Back up. So it's like the ground is wet. People want to ride bumper to bumper. And that's why we have a lot of dumb accidents. Accidents that could be absolutely avoided if people just follow the signage and then understand the ground is wet. You have to drive slightly different because if that water catches your tires, you are going to spin and nobody wants that. So either that, your tires are going to spin and your car is going to be out of control. Your steering wheel is going to lock up and you ain't going to know what the heck to do. Or you're going to be following so closely that by the time you press the brakes, you have hit somebody in the back and now you have a fender bender for absolutely no purpose. You've wasted your time and you wasted somebody else's time and all that rushing that you were trying to do to get somewhere. Now, look at you. Now you got to stop and now you got to get out the car, get somebody your insurance. You got to wait for the police to come and file a report. And now it's just like, it's unnecessary drama and it's unnecessary time that is now being wasted. But if you want to do that, you do you. Do not include me in your plans. But, um, yeah, so anyway, that is what's going on right now. So tomorrow I'm definitely planning to try to avoid any storms, any bad weather. So I'm probably just going to try to like record everything in the morning and then like around, I guess like half day, I guess. So I'll try to record as much as I can as early as possible. And then I'm going to try to dip up out of here and get back to my parents' house. And I'm going to be going the speed limit, which typically, I'll say this, like I am a heavy-footed person. The speed limit doesn't always, I don't always, like, and I think everybody can admit to this, we don't always follow the speed limit even if it's just going like a mile per hour over. Whatever the case is. But when it's raining and you have low tires, then of course, you know, you follow different protocols. Everybody has to do them. So, more or less, I'm going to be going home earlier to my parents' house tomorrow. And I'm going to be doing me to make sure that I get home safely. And then, I guess once I get there, my mom and I will probably go and get gas. And probably fill, just go ahead and fill up all the tires. And I honestly don't know what happened. Literally, I left my parents' house with one low tire. And then, all of a sudden, during this trip, it ended up being all four tires being low. But... Whatever, I'll get it straightened out tomorrow. All right, y'all, I got slightly sidetracked, but I'm back, so more or less where I was going, I don't think I quite got there. I think I started talking about it, but I didn't quite finish the thought. So my other car is, I got it in 2005, and so that car does not have, like you all saw the monitor in my current vehicle, and it shows you the tire pressure for every tire. But my car from 2005, obviously the, it does not have that feature. So my thing is like, well, before we had monitors and all these different little features in our cars to tell us like, oh, you know, your tire pressure is low and all these other things. Before we had that, what do we do? Like, did we just, I, I mean, Honestly, I mean when I got my car, I was like 17 years old Last thing I'm thinking about is tire pressure and all these other different things like oil changes and stuff like that I'm not thinking about things like that or changing filters. So I'm like What do we do then before we had all of this all these bells and whistles on our cars telling us about tire pressure other than I mean, I guess you look at your tire and you kind of compare to see if it's low. But I'm just like, what do we do otherwise? We didn't have anything to tell us. Hey, your tire pressure's low. Go check it. Fill your tires up. You know, I mean, obviously, you can go and you can measure the air. You can measure the air in your tires. You can do that. But, like, there was nothing really to trigger us to just say, hey, all of my tires look really low. Maybe I should fill them up. 
I mean, unless you're physically looking at them, but it's just like, otherwise, if it's like the pressure's off by just a little bit, how do we keep track of that? So that's pretty much where I was going with that sentiment. Cause I'm like, if I didn't have these bells and whistles on this car, I would have no idea my tire pressure was low. I've probably driven many times in my old car when the tire pressure was low, but I didn't know cause I didn't look at the tires directly to say, oh, it looks low, I need to fill it up. Anyway, that's where I was going with that conversation. I don't know if I even mentioned it before I got off on my whole tangent and my whole little rant about people not being able to drive and riding on your bumper. Anyway, I'm about to go and exercise and then I'm gonna edit a couple of videos so I can have them posted for tomorrow and Friday. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna like shower and then go to bed and then I'm gonna be done for the night. So that's the plan. And it's already like, it's like 9.25, but I've been, my sleeping is like really off. Like I've been going to sleep, like I'll get in bed by like 12, one o'clock, but I don't actually go to sleep until like two or three o'clock in the morning. And then I'm getting up at eight or by eight anyway. So anyway, so I guess tonight, this morning, tomorrow morning, it's not gonna be too much different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so I can take care of some business. And so y'all can have something to look at. So anyway, I will see you all for the next video. Thank you all again for watching. Um, I tried to keep this little vlog as short as possible. Cause like I said, these vlogs, some of them are like really time intensive with the editing. So I'm kind of like procrastinating, which is really not a good thing, but I've really been procrastinating on editing some of these vlogs. And I'll say this, okay, so I noticed like a slight drop in my subscribers. It's not a big deal, but um, I mean, at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is, you know, if you're a content creator, you wanna make content that people wanna watch. I don't necessarily, like, I do the special delivery videos, but I more so do them because I get the stuff in and I'm like, hey, I could use this for a video and make something like really quick for you all. Maybe there's something that I ordered that maybe other people may not have thought about, but that might, like different things that might come into handy that you know, might work for them that they might decide, oh, you know what, that's something unique. I didn't think about purchasing that or I didn't think about um, using something like that. So, you know, maybe I should go and try to get it or whatever. But I mean, honestly, if y'all don't wanna see the special delivery videos anymore, that's perfectly fine with me because honestly, I feel kinda like the videos, like I'm not here to stunt or here to be flashy or like, look what I got and all this other stuff. I honestly just do it because there might be things that you all might wanna see or um, you know, like those little key, the little keychain thing that I showed you all where you can use it to press a button if you don't wanna touch it with your hands or you can use it to open the door, you know, different, different things like that. But honestly, those aren't necessarily things I have to do anymore. I can just like strictly stick to hauls and then I do want to do, personally, I do want to do more personal videos because I do have more stories. Like when I first started my actual YouTube journey, I started a couple years ago, but it didn't stick. But like my current journey on YouTube, I pretty much started out doing story times. So that's something I really like to do. I really do like doing story times. And I honestly do have a lot of like personal stories to share that I can share. So it's not just all about like materialistic things. Um, I will say like my sign is a Taurus. Taurus signs can be materialistic. Yes, I like nice things, but at the same time, like I'm pretty low key about things. Like I can give you a, an example. So the car, my car, the new car that I have, it's not really new. It's like, it was previously owned. But anyway, I got it, when did I get that car? And I'll say this too. So my parents actually helped me to get the car. They didn't help me to get the house. I didn't want help to get the house, but they helped me to get the car. Um, but I got the car, it would be 
20, like the end of 2018. Yeah, it was like the end of 2018 when I got the car. So, you know, like I'm really, I'm not always close to my coworkers, but at this job, like I got really close to my coworkers and we were like, you know, to a point where we kind of told each other a lot of things like personal stuff. But yeah, that was like one of the things that I didn't share. I didn't go around blasting like, oh, I got a new car. I got this, this, this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go around telling everybody I got a new house. The only people that even knew I bought a house were my coworkers. And the only reason that they knew is because I told that like I had to take part of my day off from work so I could fill out some paperwork so I could come look at the house, like put my eyes on it and then make an offer and all that stuff. Like I had to do that during business hours. So I had to take time off and like our team's really small. We were like all in the same row sitting like right there with each other. So if I was out of the office, they knew I was gone. So I basically said like, hey, you know, I'm gonna be out of the office. So first of all, they know that my workload is not gonna be taken care of and that they know like, well, I can't take care of my workload today. So if you all could help me out for the day. So more or less, you know, they knew that I was out of the office and I mean, I just went ahead and I just kind of, I told my boss at the time where I was going, my manager at the time where I was going, and I was like, well, I'm gonna be going to look at a house. And so when I came to look at the house, I spent pretty much the whole day gone and I came back to work like super late. So it might've been, I can't remember the exact time frame, but say like it was like 12 p.m. and then I got back like, two or three o'clock, whatever. So obviously I was gone for several hours. So they knew obviously it must have gone well because she's been gone for several hours. Cause most people, if they're going to look at a house, they're not gonna be gone for several hours. So I was gone basically for several hours. I came back and as soon as I walked in the office, they knew they're like, you were gone a long time. You must've put in an offer on, your, on the house. You know, but that's not something I went around the office blasting like hey look at me i got a new house same thing with the car at the car like end of 2018 and i didn't tell anybody but it happened to be this one day i got to work it's like several months later i got to work and then i went i went to the building and then i apparently i thought i left something in my car but when i peeked outside it was like i don't know if these guys were working on the parking lot or what I think they ended up being like people that were working in the parking lot, but like drawing lines or doing something out there. Um, surveyors, whatever the case was, I'm not quite sure, but they were like standing around my car. And so I was like, well, I don't really feel comfortable going out there by myself with several guys just standing around my car door. I'm like, I don't really know what, I didn't know at the time like what they're doing because we didn't get an email saying like, hey, we're gonna be having surveyors or something going on in the parking lot. So I wasn't comfortable going back to my car. So I ended up asking one of my teammates and I was like, hey, do you mind walking with me to the car? So she was like, sure, you know, that's fine. We can go together. And then my other teammate, cause I mean, it's only the three of us. So my other teammate was like, well, you know, I'll go with you. We can all go down together. So we all ended up going down to the parking lot and then we went to my car. I didn't realize, like, it was not in my mind. I was not thinking about the fact that I hadn't told them that I got in another car. So when we got there, one of my coworkers were like, oh, this is your car? She's like, you got a new car and you didn't tell me? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it's, it's just the car. I didn't think it was important to mention, so I didn't bring it up. But yeah, I guess, yeah, I got another car, but yeah. Uh, it was a little awkward or whatever, but um, I mean, she was cool with it after I was like, yeah, I got a car, you know. I didn't say anything. Anyway, honestly, I wanna go back to, which I think I'll probably start next week like making more personable more personal videos where i'm doing like store personal stories and 
just kind of do that. Saves me money too. So I think I'm gonna go back to doing some story times. <clears throat> and I'll probably take a break, like a little break or whatever from the special delivery videos. Unless of course you like those. And if you like those, put a comment, like a dollar sign comment in the comment section down below. If you don't like them, then I guess just put an X. Just put an X. If you don't like them, just put an X. Like to say, no, I don't like them. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a dollar sign. If you like special delivery videos, and then if you don't, then just straight up put an X in the comments. And we can go from there. But also, I do want to include my mother. Like I've been saying, I do want to include her more on these videos. Of course, you see my parents. You see my dog. You see my family in um the vlogs so i that's why i like i like recording the vlogs it's just the editing piece thank you all again for watching and i'm about to get my life together i will see you all in my next video so anyway we'll talk to you all later